Hi there, this is the second part of my tutorials which will be dealing with widgets. Uh, if you want, you can check the first part. Uh, this tutorial will show you how to change the preferences of your widget, which we might also call configuration. Just for an example, the most simple one, which is visible, is the Yahoo Talk. You can see here, you see, there's the Yahoo Talk. Whenever you execute your widget or run a new widget, an icon is placed here. Now the question arises, how do we place an icon uh, in this Yahoo Talk? From version 4 onwards, it's quite simple. You just create a new file called widget.xml which stores all your preferences. Okay. Uh, as you know, XML files, are, personally I create in Visual Studio and uh, you are free to use any text editor you want. Only restriction on this file is that this file should be placed exactly where you have placed your con file or the main widget file. For an example, here is my widget. You can see it here. The last time I ran this widget, let's see. Close widget. And here is the widget. You can see it's executing. All right. So now the thing is, there is no icon here. Okay, there's no icon. It doesn't show any icon. This is just the default icon given to you by Yahoo. Suppose you want to have your own icon to be shown here. So Yahoo specifies that first uh, the dimensions of icons should be 75 by 70. The icon should not be greater than that. It can be smaller than that, but it cannot be greater than that. Uh, you can create an icon in any image editing software you want. Personally, I prefer Photoshop. You can use GIMP or any other free software which is available to you. Uh, the extension is PNG. Uh, I've already created one uh, small icon. I won't go through the whole icon creation process, which can be another video if you want. Uh, the icon I have created is stored here. And you can see this is the icon which I have created. Uh, just copy this icon to the same folder as that of your widget. That's it. Paste. Now, we do not make any changes to the main con file, that is the widget1.com file. Instead of that, we create a separate file or a separate XML file called widget.xml. Okay, so let's create a new file widget.xml. As usual, I will use Visual Studio to do so. File new, file, and choose XML. Open. The best thing about Visual Studio is that it eases your process of creation by uh, syntax highlighting and uh, code uh, completion etc. Uh, but uh, you are free to use any text editor, it's not necessary that you have to use Visual Studio. Okay. Now this file, the root element or the first element is metadata. Metadata as you all know is the data for your uh, widget. There we go. This is your root element. Everything which you will do will be written inside this root element. As you know, this is the XML rules. Now, to show the icon, just use image. This is the uh, tag which uh, shows the image on the top. The source of the image, obviously. Uh, I have stored in the same directory, so I don't have to give anything except the name of the image, which is dog icon dot and the usage why are we using this image so the usage will become equals to talk okay and close it that's it that's the only thing you have to do to execute your uh, widget with an icon in the talk okay one more thing which you must do is to take away the debug option from your uh, con file I have uh, switched on the debug option see it here see widget debug equals to on just remove this you got as I said you must save it in the same folder as your widget file so 
I save it in my widget and give it as a name as widget. That's it. That's all you have to do. You are now ready to go. Just go to your file and click on the file widget one. Let's run it. Let's run the widget again. Here is my file and click use widget. As you can see, the widget executes, but the major portion, the main aspect which I wanted to show you, the widget executes, but the main thing which I wanted to show you was this icon. Can you see this icon? This is the icon which I have created and now it's shown on the dock. Whenever you execute this widget, the icon will be shown in the dock. Okay? Now, uh, this widget also I have included one button as you can see when I click on this button it says hello world uh, there are many other configuration aspects of your widget like when I take my icon here it shows widget 1 yeah now widget 1 is not a name you will give a production widget for now it's okay for now it's just a development uh, project so you can give it any name you want but if you package it, then widget1 is not the name you want to give. Therefore, you must give it a different name. Okay, and we can give it a different name. So we will just go to the widget XML file and use a name tag and give it a name as my best widget or my widget, whatever you want to do. Just take my widget and save it. Now when you go here, you can see the name has changed to my widget. These are only the few uh, options which you have in widget.xml. There are lots of other options like security, copyright, author, etc. Uh, if you want a detailed uh, study of this thing, this preferences and all that, if you want a detailed uh, description of all the aspects of widget.xml file, please visit my blog which I already have mentioned in my earlier video. It has all the details and how to create a proper widget.xml file. Uh, if you don't remember, the name of the blog is widget and gadgets world.blogspot.com. This is the this is my blog. Okay. Please visit there and see if you like something or if you don't like something, send me a comment or a mail and i will surely add it uh, in my video or in my blog next time if you have any other links which explains these topics better please be kind enough to send me that link and i will add it to the blog or show it in, on my video thank you very much hopefully you like this video bye